Hello everyone, here's a question on square and square root. The question is, find the square root of 2,98,116 by prime factorization. So they have given the method that we have to use a prime factorization and find out the square root of this given number. So what is prime factorization? Prime factorization means we have to express this given number in terms of prime factors and using that we have to find out the square root. So how to express this, how to find out the prime factors of this number. So the best method is a division method. We're going to divide this number with the prime numbers and by that we're going to get the prime factors of this number. So I'm going to start with a, a smallest prime number which is 2. 2 is an even prime number. So let me write down the number here. It's 2, 9, 8, 1, 1, 6. Now you can divide this number separately and write down the answer in the next step or you can divide here itself. I'm going to divide here itself. So here we have a 2, so 2 ones are 2. Next we have 9, so 2 fours are 8. Then if you subtract 9 and 8, I'll get 1 as a remainder. That 1, I'm going to write this with along with this 8. That makes the number 18. It's like a normal division how you do, but I'm doing it here itself. Now the number became 18, right? So 2, 9s are 18. Now we have 1. 1 doesn't go. So 2 zeros are 0. Now I'll take 11, both numbers together. So 2 5s are 10. 1 is a remainder. I'm going to write this with 6. That makes a number 16. So 2 8s are 16. Now this is again an even number because number ends with 8. So I'm going to divide this with 2 again. So 2 7s are 14. We have 9. So 2 4s are 8. 1 is a remainder. We got 10. 2 5s are 10. Now we have 5. 2 2s are 4. Then 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 18. So 2 9s are 18. Now we got 9. It's an odd number. So I'm going to divide and check if it's divisible by 3. So I'm going to divide this with next prime number which is 3. So we have 7. So 3 2s are 6. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 14. Then 3. Uh, 3 4s are 12. 2 is a remainder. We got 25. Then 3 8s are 24. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 12. Then 3 4s are 12. And then 3 3s are 9. Now this number again we're going to try and divide with 3. We have a 24. 3 8s are 24. We got 8. Then 3 2s are 6. 2 is a remainder. That makes a number 24. Then 3 8s are 24. Then 3 1s are 3. Now, 8281 is not divisible by 3. Why I said? Because if you have learned the divisibility test here, if you add up all these numbers, then like if I add this, the, the, result, the result after adding should be divisible by 3. So, 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. But 19 is not divisible by 3, which means this number, the complete number is not divisible by 3. So, I'm not trying and checking by dividing this with 3. If you want, you can divide and check. So, next prime number is 5. It isn't div it's not divisible by 5 because we have 1 at the end. The next prime number is 7. So, let us try with 7 here. So 7 ones are 7, 1 is a remainder, that makes a number 12. Then again 7 ones are, num 7 ones are 7. So when you subtract this, we'll get 5 here, 58 will become. Then 7 8s are 56, 2 is a remainder, that makes a number 21. Then 7 3s are 21. Now again this number is divisible by 7. So 7 ones are 7. When we subtract, we'll get 4 as a remainder. We got 48. Then 7, 6 are 42. The 2 is a remainder. So let me just re-divide this. We got 1, 1, 8, 3. So 7, 1 is a 7. 4 is a remainder. That makes a number 48. Then 7, 6 are 42. I'm sorry. Then the remainder will become 4. Uh, the remainder will become 6. So it will become 63. Then 7, 9s are 63. I'm sorry for that here. Uh, so it will be got 169. Now 169 is a square of 13. 13 into 13 is 169. So after 7, the next prime number is 11. But 169 doesn't go in 11 table. The next prime number is 13. So 13 square is 169. So 13. 13s are, or you can divide 169 by thir uh, th 13. Like 13 ones are 13, 3 will be the remainder. We got 39. 13 threes are 39. Okay, then 13 ones are 13. Now here you can see we got all the spine factors, right? We're gonna again just rewrite this number. So 298116 is equal to, it's 2 into 2, then 3 into 3. 
then 7 into 7 and 13 into 13 now if the number is perfect square number the prime factor will always be in pair now you can see this 2 is in pair 3 is in pair 7 is in pair and 13 is in pair so if you see if the, we are all the prime factor is in pair if it's not in pair which means the number is not perfect square we cannot find out square root by this method so we're going to find out the square root of this number how to find out that it's very simple from each set you just take a one one number one one factor and multiply it from each pair so from here i'll going to take one two from here i'll take one three similarly from the next pair i'll take seven and from there i'll going to take one thirteen and then multiply them so when you multiply it will become 2 3s are 6, 6 7s are 42, 42 13s are is 546. So square root of this number is 546. So that's it. I hope this question is clear how to find out the square root. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.